Hey guys, um, I know this isn't like an iPod, but it pretty much is an iPod video because I'm going to be able to show, I mean, I'm showing you how to make a, um, app for the iPod Touch or iPhone or even iPad in Flash. This is more, mostly just for iPhone and iPod Touch because of the dimensions. Um, here's one example of what it's going to turn out to look like, and you're just, you select one of these items. So I'm going to click the sword, and I'll play a little movie clip of a guy, and it just has an apple, and then he smiles at the end, and then this one says dance. And for three. I'm going to say not responding, probably. Okay, no, since this one's a lot simpler, you just play it, and it'll do that. Now, start by creating a new one in iPhone OS. Okay, now make the stage. I'm making it white and 20 frames per second. 20 frames per second. Alright, now on the first layer, you're going to need drop button. So go ahead and zoom in. You're going to want a black one right there and then just I'm gonna make it light gray and let's see, let's see if this is good. Okay there we go. Alright now now we're gonna um I'm gonna select this and make it a little bit more dark and then light so make sure it's right and make it a little smaller but um, go ahead and select it all convert to symbol button underscore btn for button and select button registration points in the middle then okay and now to get an instance name I'm going to put button underscore btn um all right now you're going to control a and control c just to copy it and on this website you're going to paste it here and it's going to play a movie clip create copy to clipboard which will copy it for you and now select the action layer patterns and paste with control v now you're going to go to this middle where there's a space and you're going to type g o t o no capitals and then a capital a n d and capital S T O P. So go to install and left bracket parentheses and name it C H A R. And now I'm gonna um, close print or close quotes and then close parentheses. And basically, it's telling the button on release it's gonna go ahead and go to character, which we're gonna create. Now, <laughs> so go ahead and select the open layer, drag it out, this, and now go to actions, give them both stop actions, select this layer, or select this keyframe, and stop. Okay, so now, we're going to actually get some frame. Okay, now on this one, um, you could go ahead and move the button. Doesn't matter where you, you're gonna resize this stuff. Too. But I'm gonna zoom in, not on the button, not on the button. Okay. Okay, now we're going. I'm gonna um draw. Let's see. Circle. I'll make it dark green. I'm 
It's like black now. And I'll just like black there. And then make it get a rectangle. I'll put it in right about here. It's basically this should be like a tank thing, I don't know. Classic tween, and I'll select this tool, and F6, and then 40, F6, and then F6 again. X60. F6. F6. Go to 100. And go to 80 and do F6 again. and enter, that shows what it's going to do. Um, now, move between the 100, F6, and then actions, and put a stop command. And now, we go to scene one, we should be able to push control enter. Have it play the movie. There we go. So, it won't stop it or anything. 